Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tyler Shamali back again from Ascension Performance and today I want to talk to you all about the Assault Fitness Air Runners. So right off the rip, I want to go down in the chain of order of how things kind of happened. So obviously we bought the Air Runners, they came in yesterday and when they came in yesterday, they came in two different big boxes. And at first I was wondering, oh God, is this gonna be another project? Because being a gym owner, I've already witnessed a lot of interesting and complex devices like the eight stack and a couple other things when you had to put them together. So this was actually a relief because once you open the box, it's pretty intuitive. I mean, you've got the two support bars and the one bar on top that you have to put together. You got a couple things you plug in and you're pretty much ready to go off the bat. And just for reference, I didn't even need the support bars to get started. It was already ready to go from there. Since there's no electricity, obviously you save money on that, which is a huge thing for being a gym owner, but, or even a possibly a homeowner if you're buying this for your house. But also, for the sake of usability, I mean, this requires no pushing, no stopping, anything. You just literally hop on, start walking, if you decide that you want to start running, you go towards the front of the machine and boom, you're already running. If you want to sprint, run a little further forward. You're going to get a lot more force out of that. And you're going to notice that as you push on this belt, it's going to accommodate the amount of force you're putting out there so that you can variably really change how you're utilizing the machine. So when it comes to bringing clients on this and kind of showing them why this is better than a normal treadmill, I like emphasizing First and foremost, you'll notice the curvature to it. The curvature to it is a huge important thing. It allows you for a really solid footing when you are running because your body and your hips, they're gonna, they're gonna have a little bit of a pendulum swing to it when you're running. And obviously you can't really change that in the outdoors, but when it comes to a, in, an encaged device like a treadmill, it's really beneficial to have that efficient heel toe striking capabilities. Um, it's really intuitive, like I said, and I just love that fact about it. Now the other thing that I love about it the most, um, taking this as the big separator between this device here and the typical treadmill. The typical treadmill is powered. So the belt is going to determine how fast or slow you are going to go. And it's at a consistent speed. Now the unfortunate thing about it is not only that you have to press buttons in order to go faster or slower, but it's also unpredictable. Our bodies naturally go in walking, running, jogging, or sprinting at variable speeds. They'll never go at a consistent. If you've ever ridden a bike or walked or ran, you'll notice that you'll go forward and backwards a little bit. You won't really ever run or bike or anything at the same speed. With the air runner, it accommodates that. Every stride that you're putting into the treadmill, the treadmill kind of picks up and it gives you feedback. So it'll go a little faster, a little slower with you. It'll give you more or less resistance with you, which really makes it a great pick. Having a device like this to utilize really minimizes the risk of injury, whereas a normal treadmill going at a constant speed allows for more chirping, tripping, and problems down the road. So overall, what do I think about the Air Runners? Well, obviously you hear all these great things that I'm saying about it, and that's why, because there's really nothing bad to say about the Air Runner. Me being a weightlifter, not really focused on cardiovascular for myself too, too much, I actually enjoy walking on this device. I actually enjoyed sprinting on this device, and it actually even felt better to run on this than it had been previously to run outside of this. Another key factor that I really, really honestly like about it is after walking on the treadmill for 20 minutes yesterday, when I walked around the gym, I noticed that my gait patterns were a lot better. For those of you who don't know what gait is, gait is a simple term for walking. So when I was walking, I noticed that after the fact, my hamstrings, my glutes, and my lats on the contralateral side were firing a lot better. And that made for more efficient, upright postural walking which can aid in anybody from a rehabilitation standpoint all the way up to an athletic standpoint. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review video and for those of you coming into the gym, I hope you guys try this out if you need any help with learning it. It's got a really easy learning curve, get it? <laughs> but honestly, if you need any help, come to the front desk, go get a trainer, ask them 
what's going on with the treadmill, how to utilize it best so you can get used to this amazing device. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tyler Shamali back again from Ascension Performance and today I want to talk to you all about the Assault Fitness Air Runners. So right off the rip, I want 